Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, we're gonna do a little overview on a Waves plugin called uh, the Low Air. Um, uh, it's a pretty cool, cool plugin. I don't often use it, but I just wanna go in and open it up and show you guys a little bit uh, more about it. I'm gonna get you guys a little bit more familiar with it. Let's say you just got it, or you have a trial and you really like it and you wanna know a little bit more about it. I'm gonna open it up and do a little something like that for you. Uh, but remember that you do have to uh, purchase this plugin. It's it is a Waves plugin. Uh, and keep in mind that I'm not going to go into too much into detail about it. I'm not going to show you guys how it actually works on a, on a vocal. I'm going to show you guys that in later later on in the, in the other tutorials. But for right now, we're just going to open that up. Low, low, uh, the low air um, uh, plug-in. I'm going to go down. It's going to look like it's going to look a little something like this. You're going to have your range. You're going to have your low air effect, <clears throat> your low direct and input. Um, you got your scale right here. I suggest you guys go in, you guys try it out. Uh, you know, throw it on a vocal, throw it on an instrument, see what it does. You never know what kind of cool effect you guys can get out of it. But this is basically how it looks. Um, uh, it is a cool, uh, cool plugin once you get to know how to use it. <clears throat> if you guys can't figure it out, uh, please stay tuned to my future videos where I'll show you guys how to use it on, uh, well, more in depth and how to get the best uh, results out of it. Uh, for right now, this is the low air overview. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys learned something new and uh, please subscribe.